So hi everyone, in today's video I'm just going to be covering a few really useful websites and these websites are things that I've learned about over my time studying and working in architecture and these are seriously helpful if you're a student or a young architect. They're full of heaps of really helpful tutorials, resources, places to get inspiration, precedents, examples, things like that. I've tried to select ones that aren't super obvious and these ones are some more under the radar things that are seriously going to save you some time and get you to skill up really quickly. And they're all free or have some kind of student option and I seriously recommend you check them out. There's a really great series of catalogues and publications put out by Bartlett School of Architecture at UCL. Uh, there's a whole series of different ones all the way from yearbook of work to a set of work from each class to publications that are categorized based on type of work in there or the various units that they run but in general um, there's a lot of really good renders and kind of things to look at in there are like how they're doing layouts the types of renders they're doing the drawings they're doing the way they arrange it on a page um, graphic design colors that kind of thing. It's kind of a really good place just to look at, kind of better than Pinterest. You go to Pinterest and you get some absolute garbage, but you go in here and this is actual work being done by students around the place. And I couldn't recommend it highly enough. Um, obviously just make sure that you're not kind of copying their work, use it as a sense of inspiration rather than as a how-to guide. And other than that, you'll be sweet. Behance is another really great website for looking at precedent imagery and precedent work and one of the main benefits of this platform as opposed to Pinterest or something like that is it really gives you a great exposure to all different types of creative industries. It's all of these kind of alternate and peripheral areas which are really important to architecture and design as a whole and Behance is really good because you can filter based on the creative field so if you're more interested in things like architecture you can just simply select that as a filter then you'll only see work that is architectural in nature and try and think of this as a way of getting inspiration not just in terms of the actual design or building or things like that but you might come here when you're looking at ways to frame images for example you might come here looking for ways to present your graphic design work or things like that it's a really good place to come and look for inspiration in areas that aren't just looking for the types of buildings or materials that you'd like to do or Another benefit, if you're already a member of Adobe, you can sign up and you'll get to create your own profile and upload your projects. And you can use it as a kind of online portfolio or personal website. It's a really great place for a student to kind of be in and on and around and involved with. And I definitely recommend having a look. So for textures, what you want to do is just type in textures into your search engine and pretty much textures.com will be the top search result. So the textures available in textures.com are seriously good and this will absolutely have every texture you could ever need for any kind of Photoshop collaging, rendering, anything like that. All your floor plans, if you're doing textured floor plans, elevations, this will have everything for the moment. Just click straight into the library and this is where you want to be and as you can see it will have all of the 3d assets and paid assets you won't get those on the free credits but what we're after is just the 2d textured image files and if you go on the left under the heading regular photos have a look there's pretty much every category you could ever need and within those there's subcategories so if you click into one like concrete you can see they've got all the different options click into a subgroup and you can just see they've got all these various options here you could scroll on forever and something to note is you see in the top right hand corner of each texture there'll be a little note that will say seamless and if it's got that it means there's a seamless download option and so if you just select into one of these that you like the look of you can see all the download options now typically you'll get a few options one of them will be seamless and typically you can see on the right where it says one credit and the little free symbol you just click download it'll use one of your tokens log in with your account and you'll get a really nice high quality JPEG straight in the download. This website called Skalgabar, a lot of you may already know about it, it is quite a common one. It's a really good website for getting various people and entourage that you need for your renderings and concept drawings and whatnot. 
The website is really simple, it's done really well and it's really user friendly, it's easy to get the image you want, it's got heaps of variety. There's a lot of really realistic everyday type of thing which is quite nice, there's something kind of human about it and I think that's really useful for spicing up some of your images and making it a little bit less sterile and kind of staged so definitely have a scroll through, there's just heaps of really good high quality images in here in all kinds of poses. So definitely have a scroll through and when you find one that you like you can just click on it right click save image as and you've got it as a image uh, make sure you do go up to the top and look at the readme about the licensing and the creator of this site Tidor, has actually put in a lot of work for this so make sure that you're not doing him a disservice other than that it's a really great website couldn't recommend it highly enough Escalatine is a great website for finding entourage or people to put in any of your renders or collages it's always great to be able to populate your images with some actual people. Escalatina will have some people in here that you're not going to see around in every kind of mainstream render like the lady with the pink bag and those two dudes in shorts that you see in just about every render near the beach. It's got a bit of cultural diversity as well as age and that kind of thing which is really good and I really recommend checking it out. The website is in Spanish but you can kind of click your way around and work out what's going on so you kind of land on the home page. So there's all your different categories of men, women, kids, groups, that kind of thing, animals. So if you just click through into one of them you can see there's all your standard people that you need. You know they've got a good array, sitting, standing, riding, some quite interesting ones if you're doing kind of more urban scenes but in general these are just really good high quality PNG people and you find one you like just click on it right click save image as bam you've got it as a PNG quite a high quality one CADMAP is a website used for creating context drawings or 3D models or surrounding drawings for your architectural projects. You can get up to one kilometre squared for free and there's over 200 whole city CAD 2D drawing files. Um, it's really good for getting quick little 3D massing studies of your location or context around your site or it's really good for getting 2D base drawings and it's also really cheap, you know, less than 10 American dollars to get quite a big area if you want to do kind of larger drawings and generally it's more than accurate enough for architectural student work. Most major cities will have really good coverage. Some of the more obscure places around the world that aren't kind of major US or European cities might have less detail than others, but in my experience it's tended to be pretty good. So once you're in and you're deciding on a location that you want, you can get up to one kilometre squared for free. So as you can see, one kilometre is actually quite a large chunk here. And on the left, you just go and select the file type that you need. So AutoCAD or DXF will be 2D. Um, if you're using SketchUp or Rhino, you can do those automatically as well. Once you click Create File, it will do its thing. And you get a little preview over here on the right. And as you can see, that's picked up all the buildings and roads and train lines and things like that. that that's a pretty good map, I would say, for that location. So you can see once you've imported your model from CAD Mapper into Rhino, you've got all of your layers, parks, buildings, railways, etc. Really useful model for creating the context around your site or site plans and things like that. Doing quick, easy massing renderings. Really good tool. Recommend it. This last website is a seriously good one and it is absolutely number one on my list of must-know websites for architecture students. It's called Visualizing Architecture by Alex Hogreff. It's an excellent website that's absolutely jam-packed full of tutorials, blogs, example projects, portfolio projects. It has a set of probably some of the best tutorials I've ever seen that break things down into absolute step-by-step -step tutorials that are very easy to follow and are really relevant for students. They're realistic and the results that you get will be absolutely amazing. Uh, his rendering and Photoshop tutorials are really good and will seriously set you up for doing some pretty quality visualizations. Like I said, his portfolio tutorials are amazing and if you go into each of his various portfolios, he's got pages based on renderings, page layouts, various conversations around why he's laid them out the way he has and the kind of direction he's taken for each one, his workflows, the covers. I recommend you all take a look and seriously just have a look through every single page in here. He's probably got it if you need it. Really, Alex has done a great job and I can't recommend his website highly enough for architecture students or architects alike. It's just excellent. 
that's it for today's video guys thanks everyone for watching and as always if i've missed any websites or resources that you think other people should know about definitely drop it in the comments below if you think i should do a part two with seven more websites and resources for architects let me know as well thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos